Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about permutation functions. In our previous classes, we discussed the basics of functions. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So, first we need to understand what permutation means. Permutation, a bijective mapping means permutation is also a function but it, it satisfies some conditions. What's those conditions? We need to understand that. A bijective mapping means if you if it is want to be a permutation, first it should be a bijective mapping. Bijective mapping means uh, it should be one to one and it should be on to. So a bijective mapping of a finite set A, take a finite set of elements A onto itself, that mapping should be from A to A is called a permutation. With example, you are going to get clarity. Let's take a function f and it should be from a to a. What are the set of elements that belongs to a? 1, 2, 5 are the elements that belongs to a. a to a, the mapping should be a to a and it should be 1 to 1 and on to. It is 1 to 1 and on to. Then we say this mapping as permutation. So 1 mapping to 2, 2 mapping to 5, 5 mapping to 1, 1 mapping to 2, 2 mapping to 5, 5 mapping to 1. This we call it as a permutation. Usually functions are shown like this. But permutations are shown in the different way, the same way it is showing like this. But we are going to show like this. This is what permutation means. 1 mapping to 2, 2 mapping to 5, 5 mapping to 1. This is how permutations are shown. So oh, you understand what's permutation means. Now understand the next concept. Let's take set a, set A contains three elements. So how many different permutation functions possible using these three elements? We can write three factorial permutation mappings possible. Yes, it is three factorial. Why it is three factorial? Let's try to understand. 1, 2, 5, 1 is mapping to 1, 2 is mapping to 2, 5 is ma mapping to 5. This is one permutation. Similarly, 1, 2, 5, 1 is mapping to 2, 2 is mapping to 1, 5 is mapping to 5. This is another permutation. Like that, how many permutations are possible? So, 1, 2, 5, 2, 1, 5, 5, 1, 2 means arrange these elements in different orders. Arrangement of these elements, the three elements in the bottom, how many ways we are going to arrange these three elements? You can arrange these ar elements in three factorial ways. That's why how many different permutations functions possible? N factorial ways. N factorial permutation fu functions possible. What is N? Number of elements in the set A. So these six are the six different permutations functions possible using the set A. The second one is 5, 1, 2. 1 is mapping to 5, 2 is mapping to 1, 5 is mapping to 2. Similarly, 1, 5, 2, 1, 1, 5, 2, 2, 5, 1. These are all the different permutation functions possible. So, these are the important points you need to understand. The next important point you need to understand composition of two permutations. You take two permutations and apply the composition. It is same as composition of functions. Permutation is nothing different than function. Composition of function, uh, composition of permutation means composition of functions. The same way, whatever the way we do the functions, the same way we are going to do the permutations also. So, one, so take a set A is equal to, it is having 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 elements. This is one permutation, 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 1, 4, 3. This is one permutation. The second permutation, 1, 4, 2, 1, 3, 2, 4, 3. This is another permutation. So, permutation composition, P1 composition, P2, P1 circle, P2 is given as a, so, 1 mapping to 2, 2 mapping to 1. So, 1 mapping to 1 in P1 composition P2, 1 mapping to 1. This is what the same we do in function composition, composition of function. The same thing we are doing here. 2 mapping to 4, 4 mapping to 3. So, 2 is mapping to 3 here. 3 is mapping to 1, 1 is mapping to 4. So, that's why 3 is mapping to 4. 4 is mapping to 3, 3 is mapping to 2, 4 is mapping to 2. So, we got the new permutation. The point you need to understand here is uh, 
composition of two permutations, you are going to get a new permutation. So, composition of two permutations, you are going to get another permutation. This is the point you need to understand. Hope you understand the basics about uh, permutation of a functions, permutations of functions. Uh, if you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the uh, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.